What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be going over the tragic event that happened involving the Robinhood app. A lot of people signed up to use the Robinhood app recently, approximately around 3 million people to be exact, and they use it to trade penny stocks, options, and investing in general. One of these users started using the app specifically, started to use options trading after placing a few trades, you know, the 20 year old college student assumed he got into a pretty big mess and he thought he owned to seven hundred and thirty thousand dollars to robin hood and basically he decided to take his own life because of this issue i'm going to be going over in this video exactly the trade that he placed what presumably caused the app to show him that he owed this significant amount of money and I'm going to show you guys exactly what you can learn and how to avoid being caught up in this kind of mess while using the Robinhood app. And also, we're going to keep going to get over. We're going to see exactly the Robinhood outage that we're experiencing right now. And all of this information is going to be coming up. So make sure you stay tuned, guys. Now, let's get right into the video. All right, guys. So before we get into the video, make sure you like the video. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. Before I go and explain to you guys exactly what happened, this tragic event, like right now, at this moment, Robinhood app actually crashed. You know, the app is not working. If you're on Twitter, a lot of people are going on Twitter and kind of explaining that the error is error, Robinhood outage, and there's it's really messed up, guys. So one of the things that you can do when you're actually caught up in this kind of situations is you can go to as they have a website, Robinhood created a website to check if there's an outage or not. It's called status dot robinhood dot com and you can go there and you can check what are the issues that are that there the app is having you know the app the app is currently operational but you know when you try to trade options cryptos fractional equity trading all of it having degraded performance you know so you can go to this website and check exactly what are the functions of the app that has been affected so you can still be able to use your debit card if you want to transfer or if you want to take out money from the atm and if you want to contact the email support that's operational and overall system is basically you know degraded performance so you can come here and check out all of the you know the functions of the app just to make sure that which functions are still currently working and which functions are affected but a lot of people are having issues right now and they're saying that they want to sell their positions but they're not able to do it because of course you know it's kind of normal for this it's expected that robin hood is going to crack but today the overall market is not even that volatile it's not being up and down going down a lot i'm not sure what happened but there's an error that kind of caused people to not be able to sell buy do anything like that so this is kind of a funny funny meme that they you know they posted about the robin hood app because they're not allowing them to sell but now let's get back to the most important thing guys so it's really really sad it's really tragic that this kid you know he's only 20 years old his name is alexander and one of the things that he did was he started to trade options you know so i'm going to explain to you exactly one of the trades that he got involved in it and why that kind of caused him to take his own life unfortunately as you can see over here the last word from you know that he wrote on the note that before he passed away that people his family members found was he said that how was a 20 year old with no income able to get assigned almost a million dollars worth of leverage you know so one of the things one of the option trades that he placed on was it's called a bull put credit spread so in order for me to explain to you guys, you know, the trades that he made, they don't specifically tell you what stock that he was trading. They just tell you that he was involved in trading a bull put credit spread. So let's try to explain to you guys what that specifically means. So just to begin with, just to give you an introduction of options, if you believe the stock is going to go up, you buy call options. If you believe it's going to go down, you buy put options, you know, so the one contract that you buy of an option is worth 100 shares. So that is extreme leverage too. So if you believe that a stock is going to go, let's say Bank of America currently is trading at around $25.05. If you believe by tomorrow Bank of America is going to go to $30, you know, you can go to the app. I'm going to show you exactly the Robinhood app. So, you know, the Bank of America is currently $25. Robinhood is the Bank of America is currently trading at $25. So I'm going to click on trade. I'm going to go to trade options. I'm going to click that feature. And if I believe that it's going to go 
to the upside by tomorrow, June 19. That is an expiration date, so that's what you get involved with. If you get involved with options, you know, when you buy one contract, there's always going to be an expiration date, you know. So if you believe tomorrow Bank of America is going to go to $25.50, you can buy this one call option. That is just a bullish position. That, that is a bullish position, you know. So one of the things that you know Alexander did was he opened up a put credit spread, a bull put credit spread. What that basically means is he these also have a bullish position on the underlying stock that he was trading. They did they do not specify exactly what stock that he was trading, but just to show you exactly the trades that he placed over here. Let's say he's trading Bank of America. So instead of buying a call options because he believed the stock is gonna go up, he went to the put side and then he sold an option, a put option. So if you believe that if you want to create a bullish position to the that you believe the stock's gonna go to the upside, you can go and sell the put options. You know, so one of the things with options is when you buy them, they're always going to expire. There's gonna be a time where these contract are they going to go in the money that means you're going to make you money or you know the majority of the time if they don't go to the specific price point that you selected by the expiration date they're going to expire so as i mentioned before like if you buy the 25 dollars 50 call if it doesn't go tomorrow by june 19th to that specific price this contract is going to be worthless so the amount of money that you paid over here which is 0 0.18 you multiply that by 100 is going to be worthless you know so that is the thing so if you believe if you also believe that the stock is going to go to the upside you can also sell put options you know so put options are options contracts that if you believe the stock's going to go down you buy them and let's say if you believe bank of america is going to go down to 24 dollars and 50 cents you buy a put options but if you also have a bullish expectations by tomorrow bank of america is not going to go to is not going to go down you can decide to sell them you know that means that you believe bank of america is not going to go down so since these options contracts they always there's an expiration date to them so by tomorrow if bank of america doesn't go to 24 dollars and 50 cents you know the premium over here that you paid that's exactly the amount of money that's required for you to buy these options is going to go to zero so currently it's at 0 0.16 you multiply that by 100 so that's just going to cost 16 dollars so if you believe that bank of america is not going to go there you can sell this option and you can collect you know the money that these put options cost and eventually by tomorrow if that does not go to that price point you can make that money so you get to keep that money however if it goes down you are expected to kind of fulfill the contract or the expectations for buying these put options you know so exactly what you can do is to create a bull put credit spread is basically if you believe that bank of america is not going to go to 24 dollars and 50 cents what you want to do is you want to buy the 24 dollar put this is basically a protection you know so alexander also created a bull credit spread so he add a protection but i'm going to explain to you guys later on what caused the mishap and what caused the problem when robin had told him that he owned you know that a lot of money so that can still be showing up on the app but i'm just going to show you guys exactly the process of creating the trade of bull credit spread so you buy this 24 put this is going to be your protection and then you believe that Bank of America is not going to go to $24.50 by tomorrow, so you're going to sell this one. So as you can see over here, Robin it tells us that we're creating a put credit spread. So I'm going to click on continue. And so the total credit that we're going to be receiving is going to be $8. You know, so what this basically means is if tomorrow Bank of America doesn't go to $24.50, we're going to keep the eight dollars so as you can see over here one contract of options is worth 100 shares as i mentioned before so let's say we put in one so and also we're going to put in a limit price of 0 0.08 that is the amount of you know premium or the amount of money that we're going to be receiving by tomorrow if bank of america doesn't go to 24 dollars and 50 cents we get to keep that money so zero points the minimum credit 0 0.08 so i'm going to click on the check mark so as you can see over here it says the collateral is 50 dollars you know so if this thing goes 
if Bank of America crashes below the $24, even if it crashes below the $24 mark, the maximum that we're going to lose is going to be $50. That's why Robinhood actually asks us to have a collateral of $50 in our account for this specific trade. Since also we recreated, we received a credit of $8, technically we only need to have $40, $42 in our brokerage account to place this trade since we also got $8. So 8 plus 42 is getting $50. So however, just you need to have $50, you know. So this is going to be the, the trade that he placed a, a put credit spread. So basically this explains to you guys exactly what a put credit spread is. Now, the thing that happened was usually when these contracts, if you hold them to expiration time and even before expiration time, if price of Bank of America starts to go down to the downside, as you can see over here, the, pr the price of Bank of America is currently at $25.08. I'm going to be using I'm going to be using a line chart to explain to you guys. That's what a lot of people use on Robinhood to just to, just so you can understand what happened. So currently it's at 2508. So if tomorrow Bank of America goes down to $23.90, our expiration date that we picked is June 19, June 19. So we are going to be assigned for the put contract that we sold. However, we also bought a 24 put option, so that is going to protect us. So that is going to be the important things. However, if you just sold the put of $24.50, you need to have a lot of money in your brokerage account to execute that trade. However, if you hold it and if you even get if the bank market gets, you know, below the $24.50, you can still be assigned at any time. You know, so that can be one of the cases that kind of happened with with Alexander's account, unfortunately. So when the Bank of America stock went to, if Bank of America stock goes below $24.50 and somebody tries to exercise that put their right to exercise the put options, we can be assigned that. And Robinhood is going to show that you are going to be owning a hundred share of, you know, that you expected to, you know, pay up. You know a lot of amount of money because they usually execute you know these assignments and exercises after market close so on your robin hood account is going to show that you're significantly down that is one of the cases that could potentially happen they don't specifically specify exactly what happened on the article and also his family doesn't specifically specify robin hood also doesn't show us exactly what happened because of the privacy issues but i'm just explaining to you guys what potentially happened also, in other cases, if it went below the, the put that he bought to, as protection, if it went below that price point, he's also going to see that he was assigned a lot of money. So that is going to be the issues that is going to show that that's going to show up that it's going to be like you owe a lot of money to Robin Hood. But but the thing is, you still have to wait for them to exercise the other one to help to mitigate the risk and to basically balance out of that position you know so that is exactly what is going to be explained after you know 24 hours you, your balance account is going to show up like this unfortunately for him you know it showed up that he owed 730 a thousand dollars in the negative and he did not have this kind of experience in the past so he kind of really freaked out and he took matters to his own hands and he was really really you know distraught you know and this kind of things kind of happened to it kind of happened to me too it happens to a lot of people but you know you you need to understand exactly how these options trades kind of work ahead of time before you get involved with them because when you get a sign you might freak out but you know at the end of the day the collateral is only what what is required for you to place that trade robin hood would not allow you to be to place that trade even if you you know you place that trade even if you place that trade robin hood won't allow you to place that trade if you don't have the amount of money required for them to place it so and as you can see over here a lot of things people actually freak out a lot every time even when the first time that kind of happened to me i was like in a group of people there's like a chat room like a discord group so it's really important to have people that you ask them you know so i kind of ask them like hey guys so what happens next and things like that you can also go to the reddit group and you can ask like people that use Robinhood over there exactly if you if this thing kind of happened a lot so this guy actually is freaking out because he got 
you know, he's, he got a sign and now he owns 15k on a credit spread. So he does not own $15,000. It's just his app is actually showing that he's it's on the process. You know, so it's on the process of him getting a sign. But since he bought protection, that option that he bought is going to be exercised and that is going to show that he is not going to be owning that amount of money so that's going to protect him as you can see this guy is actually was planning you know to fake his own death and escape to Ar argentina because he owned fifteen thousand dollars you know so yeah so that kind of things kind of happen a lot a lot of people get involved in this kind of situations but you just need to understand that you need to give it time and ask some people that actually you can go to on reddit you can ask people on the Discord group that you involve. You can go on Facebook and join a group and ask people that actually have experience. And that is going to be the important things that you want to be doing if you are want to avoid, you know, being caught up in this kind of situation. It's really, really sad. He's a really young guy that you know got that got involved in a bad situation. And you know, Robin Hood came out and said that you know they're really this is uh, they're really terrified about the situation and their families are, are really, really sad about that too and they said that he really enjoyed investing and he was a frugal saver and when he saw that he owed like seven hundred and thirty thousand dollars that he kind of panicked and that's what kind of caused it but guys be super careful guys but in this video you know i hope you guys learned what to do what not to do and these kind of things might potentially happen on the app that does not mean that you owe a lot of money that just you have just give it time and you will your other option contract that you bought is going to get exercised to protect your downside you know so just be super careful guys before you get involved in Robinhood and hope this video really clears out some of the issues and if you like the video guys make sure you like it make sure you subscribe to the channel but I'll catch you guys on the next video guys